Hello, everybody. Anthony Crane here with Pocket Coach, and we'll set our five-minute timer. This one will for sure only take five minutes. Um, this one's pretty basic. Uh, in fact, it's the last uh, video in all of the Team Accelerators uh, team training. We are going to actually add new Team Accelerators, so uh, whether we add them to the main library or the ed extra library, we'll find out. But uh, but meanwhile, this is the last one, and I was basically making it just for completion, uh, completeness. So uh, team training. The problem here is we have to figure out who on our team needs it. So um, we got to make sure that we, we do that, especially if we're doing a team launch for a new team of Agilists. Um, hypothesis here is that uh, planning for the gaps will accelerate your team. Uh, time frame, 20 minutes is high, <laughs> depending on the size of your team. It could be 10. Uh, typical outcomes, increase engagement and team KPIs. Uh, your team measure should go way up once you've all had the tra training, um, key process indicators. What do you got to do? So skill growth member is always, what do you, is the actual doing part? What do you got to do? You create a training plan for the team, including what classes they're going to take per person uh, and, or deciding that you didn't need any training and that's fine as well. Okay. Uh, so let's um, get into this. Da -da -da. Here we go. Okay. So again, very basic here. Number one is agile mindset. Everybody should take an agile mindset class and, uh, if they haven't, um, that, there's actually, we have one in the kit here that's amazing. I really love it. Um, but what happens without the agile mindset is people just kind of go through the motions, but they don't ever actually achieve agility. So the mindset class, I just offer that to every role in the company, um, no matter what role they're in, because everybody needs to have this mindset of, of high trust, of decentralizing decision making, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, intro to Scrum. So if you guys are doing Scrum, you're going to want to take an intro to Scrum class. There's plenty of them available online. You can also, I have one in my kit. Uh, I'm sure every coach has one. You can just say, hey, can you do an intro to Scrum? Uh, intro to Kanban. Fewer coaches have that. There's also one of these in the kit. Um, but again, uh, there's tons of uh, Kanban. There's Kanban University online that you can go to. Uh, it might be a really cool one. Agile Team Fundamentals, that's one in this course. Um, the difference between Intro to Scrum and Agile Mindset. In Agile Mindset, we teach you how to think Agile. Intro to Scrum, we teach you about the four um, Scrum events and other parts of Scrum. Agile Team Fundamentals is actually, how do you estimate? How do you write stories? How do you forecast? How do you look at forward at a whole mid-range plan, et cetera, that kind of stuff. So it's the fundamental skills that you need to be a good Agile team. Um, five is Agile Quarterly Planning for a team. So if you're embracing the quarterly planning uh, pattern, you actually plan a whole quarter out as a forecast. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, that's not agile. No, it's totally agile. As long as you understand the plan is wrong and that it, you're going, and it's just a, a rough draft so that when you get to the next sprint, you can see what you thought and pivot and and uh, and adapt, then it's very agile, right? So uh, again, that's what we teach in that kind of an agile quarterly planning. Uh, Scrum Master Training, that shows, you know, Scrum Master do the job, product owner training, same deal. Um, coach training, uh, whether you have a commercial or homegrown commercial, I'm a safe program consultant from safe or an SPC. Um, but there's lots of other, uh, certif certifications for coaches out there that you can get into or a homegrown, uh, how do you make, um, how do you do your own coaches internally? Um, and then any other role specific training. So what are the different roles that, that people can play? We should outline those RTE if you're in safe, right? Safe provides a lot of those role-based trainings, but if you are not using SAFE, then what roles do you have and what training are you going to have for them? That number nine is probably not appropriate for this list as a team. This should go to your transformation team and they should create a strategy around that. Uh, but then we should find out if we need that or if any of the people we're working with, like if we have an RTE, doesn't seem to get it. Like, hey, have you taken that RTE class? That's uh, So that for that reason, it's important to know what role-based training there is out there. Um, if, uh, and finally, number 10, using safe in general. So if you are using safe, um, they have a great set of classes and we have a separate video that goes through that. Um, it's the ultimate guide to safe training. You can just Google, uh, Google that. And we actually list out every single class that's available in safe by role. Um, so you can kind of figure out which safe training to take. So that's about it. Um, all you have to do now is take a look at the list, ask everybody what they want to take. If everyone's, you know, already kind of done it all then you don't need to do training. But if if there's, you know, don't, you can't overdo it. Maybe once a quarter, uh, take another one of these. So that could be your plan is once a quarter, we'll make sure everybody takes one new training class or something. Uh, and that'll be a great way to accelerate your team. So there you have it, how to plan team training uh, for your team. My name is Anthony Crane, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. All right. I just got to stop my sharing.